Hey everyone, welcome to my home channel. Today we're checking Let's School. So it's a tycoon game where you need to build and manage a school. I didn't play any time yet, but I love tycoon games. Let's see how good it is, right? Let's pick career mode. Sakura Valley. We have we have two maps. Okay, let's start with Sakura Valley. Um, normal difficulty. Let's see it. It looks very nice, right? A little bit cartoonish. I feel like it's one of those clunky games with some jokes and everything like that. Like um, Chupix Hospital, yeah? So let's see. Letter from the old headmaster, a cat, okay. Hey, long time no see, I'm the headmaster of your old school. By the time you read this, I will be retired and traveling the world. The school you loved is in a bad state. I tried my best, but my best wasn't good enough. Now it's up to you. I'm asking you to take over the headmaster position. Please do what I only dreamt of doing. I've hidden a treasure somewhere on the school grounds. If you revive our school, the treasure is yours. So you already got uh, a noble reason, right? You want some treasure? Let's do it. Okay, we gotta create a character. Can I be a cat? I think I cannot be a cat. The last headmaster was a cat. I feel like I should be, but okay, but okay. I will not complain. Let's be Slenderman then. That's nice. That looks like someone that would suffer a lot of bullying from the students. Because that's what students do. Let's be orange. Just to be beautiful. <laughs> Gosh. Like that. To remember students to be healthy, eat carrots. Mm. <laughs> nice, we got many nice options. Let's do this one. Um, some normal color. We already got orange skin, we don't need some light green hair or something like that. We're a serious guy. We're six, of course. Mm, let's go. School, Jaguar School, Rabbit Academy, Shitty School, Cat High, of course. The last headmaster was a cat, so we gotta be Cat High. A Kiwi? That's cute. Oh, we can choose the colors. So, I want blue the tails, and the main color will be. No, too traditional. Orange. Like our hair. Uh, I feel like that's nice. This green looks nice with this blue. And... <laughs> with some horses on the sides. That's nice. That's it. Oh, we have the colors here as well. Some purple. We got just the most beautiful school. Dark mode. Just the most beautiful emblem of all times. And this looks pretty cute. Get high. Almost high cat. It looks like uh, a house, a ghost house, not a school, but that's alright. Yep, I'm the headmaster. I'm Mrs. Lin, your assistant. Feel free to 
feel free to ask me for help if you encounter any difficulties. I might not have a lot of experience, but I'll do my best. Just like me. <laughs> it's not easy being a headmaster. Oh, I haven't been told about your past work experience yet. Would you like to go? Of course, we need to know how to play. Alright. This is pretty easy. Um... Close the zoom. Middle of mouse, we can rotate. Uh, we need to press R. Okay. And F down. Nice. Looks like you're already getting the hang of adjusting perspectives. Great. Let's see what we have to do to run a school. Let's go. Hello Headmaster, let me first introduce you to our goal. First, we must first admit the students from all the communities around us and satisfy their needs. Right. Uh, second, have the students attend classes so that they gain knowledge points. It's a very Japanese game, right? Very Japanese. Three, throughout the week, teach the students so that they can pass the exam for their preferred course types at the end of the week. Fourth, when the students pass the exams, the school gains contribution points, which can be used to further improve the school. So it's like we're a public system, when the school is good, we get paid by the government. Um, school upgrade. You can increase the school level by renovating the facilities, admitting new students and more. Please gain a higher score to up the level of the school. That seems to be the best, of course. Greetings headmasters, I'll be your building consultant, Brick Johnson. This building hasn't seen regular use in ages. I'm sure you don't want your students to see this place looking like a dump. Let's tidy it up first. Right. So, we have a demolish button. We will demolish this. Is this it? We demolish it at all. Okay. All this user, there's another. Okay, there's another here. Fine. I've never seen this place this clean and tidy before. We only had to click two places. Uh, we can now focus on our first day. Let's first build the classroom. Students should have their own classes and seats. Fine. So here's the building mechanic. We can have a facility, a classroom, and it's a click and drag, of course. How big does it need to be? Mm. Do it all. The door is here. Is this another door? Oh, it's the all right. Um, the teacher here. Then I can position the students. I don't know if they need the base. I'll guess they do. Hello, I'm Edson Liu, the school's teaching consultant. It seems like you're ready to recruit some students. They are school's foundation. Visit the local community to get started. Let's go. So we need to go recruit the students. They don't come to us. This is where the potential students of our community are gathered. There are a lot of children in this community who can start in our school soon. Right. We can establish an admission office here so that students may send their applications. I wonder if they have like different stats. I bet they do. We can see the local students. Yeah. We can see their, their proficiency, their aspirations. Okay.
Are you sure you want to admit students from here? Establish an admission office here, and we will peri periodically receive new student applications from this community. Of course, uh, it's estimated to be 9 applications per week, so I'll need more chairs, I guess, on my classroom. Alright. Um, we cannot admit- okay. So we are actually getting only 4 students, let's get them all. It is time to assign a new student to the classroom and pick a room room teacher. Let's go. So this is our classroom. Assign all year 1 students into classes. Okay, so I just click here, select a member and they have their own chairs oh okay i can have six we have already four are needed to manage the students otherwise the students will have disciplinary issues so we need the homeroom teachers of course now assign a teacher to a class as a room room teacher which okay miss lynn's a teacher right class preparations are now complete Let's on pause and let these co-activities continue. During daylight hours, the students and teachers will come to start a new day of life at school. Okay. We have three different speeds. We got the achievement for starting our school. I exist and I am here. train teachers our parents said that we aren't smart enough to study but we never believe them <laughs> nice i hope cat high can help some of those verdant valley to make our dreams come true okay so they are challenges little cute challenges hope they do good what is this i for mm. Alright, we can check them, they have a discipline bar, some stats, they have memory, intelligence, creativity, physique, nice, and desperation of course, and the satisfaction. Okay, so they're actually people that want to study, like they're not bad students, they just weren't in schools. They have motivation, they do want to get a career. You're not like people that were with me in school, that didn't want anything in life. <laughs> so, we're all ready to learn, let's plan out their brand life. Let's go. These are the estimated exam results for the students in this class. You can make adjustments as needed. So, they're all expected to fail. Um, there are four different types of courses. According to their aspirations, different students will need to gain knowledge points in the corresponding course types. For example, students with athletic aspirations will need the sports courses. While those who want to learn robotics will need more sciences courses. Make sure your course schedule matches the needs of students in the class. So it's always better to check the aspirations and make classes according to it in the future, right? When we have more people, more students. The estimated exam results are displayed on the right of the course schedule. Over over each student type want to see details for that student. When you create the course schedule, pay attention to the estimated exam results. Try to make sure all the students reach passing marks. Cool. Exams will be held every Friday. The students' grades will be determined by the knowledge points they have gained. Students who reach the weekly goal will win contribution points for the school. Okay. After every exam, students will go up by a year. 
After three exams, students will proceed to graduation. So we have only three exams. Students who pass their third exam could be accepted by their target institution. This will give the school more contribution points. Okay. Next, schedule courses to ensure students are able to achieve the passing mark. Okay. Select the course. The time is paused. Okay. Select the course you wish to schedule, then press or drag to add it to the schedule. Nice. So, and we have the whole week here. So, oh, okay, and there's what you guys need. You need science, and the green guy, it is humanities. So, let's do that. I don't know how many points you guys give. Okay, you can copy the shadows, like just drag it. Control drag it. Okay. With this weekly schedule, the students should pass their exams this week. Don't forget to set up courses after future classrooms are created. Okay, and this is class 1. I just don't understand, like... Okay, we can cancel by right-clicking. This is Marina Heaven Aspiration, okay, but it's for all of them? Okay, all of them have the same aspirations, right? Cool. Shadow one week, of course, for an in class. Okay, so we actually need to shadow the whole week. can't have those courses for some reason yeah cuz I guess they would already have experience to go for the next level of literature so we would need a new teacher okay There they are, learning. Look at them. Dedicated little students in a random school in the middle of nowhere that looks like an abandoned house. And this is like... Do you want? Okay, so they will present. The room so dark that I can't see anything, Headmaster. Can you please install a window? <laughs> of course. So they give us some missions at some times, I guess. It's a facility. Oh no. Uh, Doors and windows. Let's give you guys some nice windows. Where do I see my money? Up there. It's cheap. So, one there, one there, one there. I don't want this one anymore. How do I sell it? This one. Would not be symmetrical, so I don't want that. I want that. And here. Do 
what is that? Main door. Two other doors. Which we don't need right now. Yeah, that's it. More light than that would be possible. This looks cute. So here we have a management tab. Okay. This shows how many students we have. I guess this is about getting our level up. Okay. And eventually we have a band egg. And then cat tag. Okay, that's all we have. <laughs> Alright, I guess. This is strange. <laughs> this is so weird. Like... have some movement yeah 2 out of 21 that's very cool they have their relationships I don't know if they can express needs a group of foreigners are building nests on the school building they're dangerous and may attack our students find the hives and remove them so I guess we'll keep getting some missions like that. But how do we find their homes? I found the guy here. Oh, here. This foreign into will be removed like this furniture the hornet's nest okay goodbye we have one more somewhere where is it where is it where is it where is it um Am I blind? Like... Where's the nest? Oh, here. Cool, so... I guess that's a little first look. A small first look. We have some students, they are here, being cute learning science from us and this is where we wrap this thank you very much for your kindness your presence i guess i'll see you again next time ladies and gents if you like the video leave the thumbs up subscribe and yeah see ya